Are you new in the drone world and you like to do drone maps, but you don't have the budget for expensive drones or expensive software? What if I tell you that you can actually do drone maps for free just by using your mini drone and a free software? I will go outdoor and show you how to collect data. After that, we come back in the office and I'll show you how to process data. As I said, everything just for free. The platform that we're gonna use today is called Maps Made easy and you can find it on this website you're gonna need to create an account i already have one as you can see uh so sign up the application that we're gonna use for automatic uh, data collection for flight is called map pilot pro and you can find it also in app store and google play for android uh, if you go to tools help center map pilot pro supported hardware you gonna see exactly the supported drones so this is my drone mini 2 you can use mini 3 mini 3 pro air 2 air 2s it's a pretty long list except these ones they are no use just install the, the software and i will see you outside after you install the software, we go to settings and you're gonna choose the, the drone that you're gonna use. In my case, it's Mini 2, but you have here a full list of the supported uh, drones. We're gonna select a new mission and uh, just be aware of this message. And now we're gonna wait to connect to the drone. We just found it. Okay, so let's go through the menu and this is what we're gonna find overlap you can go between 50 percent and 95 percent i think the sweet spot will be 75 85 percent from my experience the mission type which can be normal grid linear sampling or spot most common for drone mapping is normal or grid uh, grid is more accurate and it's good for 3d models and normal is good for quick ortho photos Altitude, uh, if you scroll the bar, you can go between 10 and uh, 300 meters. I don't recommend 300 meters. The legally altitude is 120 meters. To create the area that you want to survey, you just press and hold on the first point, press and hold on the second point, press and hold on the third point, and on the fourth one, you press and drag whatever you want to. And you can repeat the same operation with the rest of the small points. Um, now we're gonna select the rotation, the map rotation. I prefer to be perpendicular uh, or parallel on one of the, the sides. Now we upload the map into the drone. Just be aware of this message. Uh, you select the terrain awareness and accept upload check the path it looks all right and take off back in the office before we continue um, I would appreciate if you will subscribe to my channel and now let's continue with the processing uh, I'm gonna go to my account I already I'm already logged in uh, press here we're gonna do a new map and we're gonna use the DJI specific workflow because we use the DJI drone and we are here um, First, the software needs a, a sample file. It basically just upload one photo just to confirm that is a DJI. And as you can see, one file is 0.009 gigapixel. I have two gigapixels because I have a paid uh, account, 
but if you have a free account you just gonna have one um, you have a lot of output options here uh, I will leave the automatically three mages flood map failover rest is like if you want different type of output KMZ OBG mesh file uh, XYZ point cloud and uh, here I will leave it as a process at native resolution I'm not going to change the resolution here you have the option where you're going to need to pay you can do it fast 2x or normal time normal time is around half an hour so it depends of the of course of the number of the points but it's, it's pretty fast um, now we're just going to go to the next step name and verify, di verify data I'm just going to put test and I confirm take now we are we're gonna upload the, uh, all the photos in here so press here I'm just gonna select all just minimum 20 images they are already 40 you can see them here where the points are if you scroll down, that looks good. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna upload. You're gonna see every photo uploaded one by one. Now use 0 0.423 gigapixel. So with a mini two. With a free plan, you can use probably 100 photos, roughly. Is how much you can process. You're gonna receive a email where it says that it's been uploaded and you're gonna receive an email when it's done so I will catch you soon okay the process is finished uh, it took less than half an hour 25 minutes and let's see the results but this is overlaid on on Google Earth and here you can see the Google Earth and you can see your very nice and here is the the DM cool you can give some rough dimensions 5 meters or you can make a polygon with the area this survey was not done with the, the ground control point so it's probably one two meter accuracy just be aware of that you can export image tm image and then the tiff and you can import in a QGIS or rgis or whatever software you're using and uh, you can preview 3d model this is it mm, not too bad another good thing about it is that you can input crown control points for free if you press this you download the sample you put your uh, coordinates and you just follow the instruction and you can actually have a more accurate drawing this is how you can get started doing drone maps or if you want sample data or just you don't want to invest in a software you can do it with the drone that you have for free which is pretty cool to start with so if you like this one guys press like subscribe share with your friends and uh, drop a comment if you want to see anything else 